One thing you mentioned uh, another word that triggered something. It was uh, they have to be co uh, comfortable with their story, and I would think that the author's backstory is something that's really important. That's part of their pitch. You you need you need to have something that's going to make them want to buy that book. Other than well, not to be super cheesy, but you can't judge a book by its cover. So. How do you, uh, any tips or tricks that you can share with folks in terms of how to draw out that backstory about that person uh, to make them stand out, make them more likable? I don't know if I can make them more likable, but yeah, <laughs> um, absolutely. And that's one of the things that we work on when we do coaching too, because if you're going to pitch to an agent, they're def they definitely are going to know, know your backstory, need to know it, need to know how you present yourself. And even when I talk to people one on one and I'm trying to sell my Lady Tiger books, for example, I can say I started playing fast pitch when I was nine years old and then I played travel ball and I was an umpire and I was a softball coach. So I've done all these things. So right there, people are interested because they think, oh, well, she knows what she's talking about. Same thing with the obsession. When I tell people that that is my stalker story, that's usually enough for it to sell. So I do try to connect it with, have the authors make the connection of why they wrote the book. If you're writing nonfiction, you absolutely have to have a, here's why I'm the most important person to write this book. Here's why I'm the best at this topic. So yes, working on that, it is part of their pitch when they present to an agent. So we, we really try to draw that out. 